Okay, if Delara were with me today, we would have assembled my new lawnmower and uh, this is what I got. It's a uh, and a, I just mowed the front yard. I like this a lot better than my other one. It was very expensive. It was three hundred ninety nine dollars regular price. This is a stimulus money purchase and I've been planning for it. Um, my Toro I bought is a Toro self-propelled self-propelled? Self-propelled. Um, mulching mower recycler, 22 inch and I bought 2003 when I bought my house and I guess in maybe spring, either spring of 2000 20 or fall of 2019, um, I couldn't get it to work, and I thought it was a bad carburetor, and I got a new cheap cheap carburetor off of eBay, which I've done before, and it worked, but I hear that those cheap uh, Chinese carburetors are not reliable. So, um, and I replaced other things. I replaced, the, yeah, one, okay. I replaced brake cables on it. I, I replaced the power steering cables on it. They rusted. I left my lawnmower out in the rain. Sometimes I would get tired and be exhausted, be like like a kid leaving the bicycle out in the rain, and that's not good for anything. But it still lasted me um, like 15, 16 years. And my next door neighbor, when I bought my Toro, he said he had one that lasted him 17 years. So I felt good about that. Um, Okay, so the only problems I have had is they gave me this bottle of, well, the first thing is like, I thought they, they should have given me oil for the lawnmower because I thought it came with oil. And I couldn't find it, but it was in the, in the leaf catcher, in the not leaf catcher, in the, in the, yeah, the grass catcher thing. Found it and I dumped the whole thing in there because I think I usually get less of this, a smaller bottle. And it takes the whole thing of a smaller bottle. So I had to go get a empty cup. I save these. These are good for rooting, rooting, like, I started rooting fig cuttings in them. You can see the roots as they grow. It's really nice. So I, I save these clear, clear things. And, and I could pinch it to make it pour well, make a little spout with it. And, and, uh, and I, I overfilled it. So I, I had not put any gas in it. So I drained, I just tipped it over and drained the oil out till I got it to the right mark. And I, and I have a gas can, and I couldn't figure out how to use the spout, so I just poured it in, and I didn't use a funnel, but it was okay because the, the place on the lawnmower is really big, so I didn't spill any. I'm going to turn this around. Oh, yeah, so I, this is my, my hat, my big sun hat, and I also have sunblock on, and I'm wearing a dress, and I'm wearing my, I'll show you my, these boots I got. You can see. It's like the bottoms. These are two years old. But what I figured I can do with them, I get them for lawn mowing shoes. I like them because they slip on. They're going to be good lawn mowing shoes. And what I can also do is when I can't use them anymore, I can cut them up and make insoles for other boots because sheep and insoles are nice. And I think they're easy to, to make, so I like being resourceful. So, okay, so let me flip this around. Flip. Okay, what I what I like about this is it doesn't get away from me. Um, that's a new thing. And also, I can, uh, it's not hard to push when it's not running. With my other one, I would have to like, put the self-propelled on it and let it run. Okay, and what is going on there? see it's oil but I'm not sure where it's coming from and this has got a 30-day return I'm gonna keep my box and everything and anyway so I got I might call and ask about that I took a picture of it a minute ago that's the second time it dripped so maybe that's old oil from when I had it overfilled but I didn't Oh, I didn't fill it to the top. I just filled it. I just filled it. Uh, 
I just feel that it was still, it was not past the dipstick. It was pretty high. It was before the end. So, I thought probably twice as much as I should have. So, but I didn't turn it on or anything because I didn't, when it didn't have any gas in it because you're not supposed to, to tip it if it's got gas in it. Okay, and this is a, so it's got the, um, this grass catcher thing on it. Oh, it's full. I have to take that off in a minute. I can have both hands. What I don't, okay, and then this is, this made, I was like, where's the side discharge thing? Because it didn't have, you know, my other, ha other one had those plastic, uh, things where you could, you had to, you had to block the, well, I guess it blocked itself, but you take the bag off, it would close up. And then you could, you had a plastic, you had to lift up a plastic thing that had a hinge on it and snap in a chute for, to discharge the clippings. And then this one, uh, and it's my other engine was a Tecumseh engine. This is a Briggs and Stratton. Guaranteed to start. It started on my second pull. And then I, it started on my first pull for the other ones. I don't know if... I didn't think I was doing enough rowing on my rowing machine to keep strong enough to do that, but but it, it did. In my lawnmower, I had to start spray starter fluid in the in the air intake and start. So this is supposed to be. I think these wheels are they're totally different than the old wheels, and I have my my yard is not flat. I mean, when I was looking at houses, it my my yard very flat compared to some of the houses I looked at, and I wanted to. A pretty flat yard. So, um, my, my grass I cut over there is, uh, I went over at the four inch and then I did it down to like, I guess that's halfway, two, three, four, five. So the third one there, the middle one. And anyway, so I think if Delora were here today, um, we'd talk about this and we'd talk about. The, um, we would talk about where the warnings, where's the warnings, I guess they're in here, because they'll tell you how, to, I don't know if it says they can kill you, but, uh, says they've got, I don't know which ones say that they will kill you, oh yeah, it says, yeah, but there's a, a lot of things in here that say, um, broken bones, you can break your bones, so it's important. Oh yeah, and one of my favorite questions to ask or be asked from when I'm with my kids is why. So I made a note in here when it's available. I won't read about why it makes uh, you can use a lower octane in high altitudes, and also we can bake something and talk about why uh, temperature and cooking time or whatever. Um, are different. Sometimes even ingredients are different in higher altitudes because I think it's something to look into to get. My, this is a ready start system. There, I used to have push a primer bulb. There's no primer bulb on here to push. So it's very easy to start. It's very easy uh, to um, to mow with because like I said, you don't have to you just, you just push this um, if you want to, if you want it to, to bag, and then if you want it to just discharge, it discharges out the bottom. So, I haven't tried that yet. That might be better than leaving a big pile, because if you go over a big pile, it can gum up your, your, uh, lawnmower. That happens to me a lot when I let the grass get too high, especially in the spring when it's kind of wet. Okay, so, and then you can take, what I don't like, I don't like this plastic. Why do you have, why, why plastic? Why plastic? Because this is going to get turned a lot. And this, when you turn these down, you can, it's a stow, what do they call it? They call it smart stow, I think. And I have folded it up at, since I put the gas, the grass catcher. I got to dump the grass catcher out and... And I did not put too much gas in it. Well, how do you fold it up? Maybe that's in this. And another thing I wanted to do with Delara is figure out how there's a, oh, it tells you there. 
Well, sort of. Uh, maybe it does. What kind of languages these are in? These are all kinds of languages. So I wanted to look at these with her and talk about all these different languages and countries. And see, this is not stuff I do with my kids. It's it, it's enrichment, and it makes it makes you want to be a you know a lifetime learner, day learner. Look for look for things, ask questions about just in the course of the day. So um, she used to love that, and I bet she so would. Okay, so this is what you do: you take the take the bag off. I don't know what that is. What is that? I don't know what that's a picture of. But you take the bag. I can figure it out. And then you push these push these blue handles down, and then it folds up. What does this say? I guess you had to have it up more than two inches, and then you fold it up, and then you can store it like that, which is really nice because it takes up less storage room, and if you carry it in a truck, like it down with the handle on top. So that's pretty nice. This was very big. My uh, brother took me to get from Home Depot in his car and it was twenty dollars off so it's three seventy nine uh um yeah plus tax and stuff I think it's gonna serve me very well. I think I would recommend it for anybody who um you know has has a chronic fatigue issues uh but also don't overdo it, you know if um uh, I have to do my yard in sections and uh, make sure I don't overheat and drink a lot of water and obstacles and stuff because I all usually overheat anyway. But anyway, this, this is what I would recommend. As expensive as it is, it's easy. Um, it's easy. I uh, got a helicopter in my, dropped a helicopter, maple seed in there. So, um, I don't, mechanically, I don't have any complaints, but I wish they would make things out of metal instead of plastic. Oh, the other thing is, they say you don't have to change the oil, and I really question that, because why would they go from saying you have to change the oil every year to saying, oh, just top it off, and you never have to change it? I don't believe that. I think it should probably be changed. Anyway, it doesn't say you shouldn't change it. It just says you don't have to change it. But I would think that if you change it, it would last longer. Unless they made it to where it consumes oil, and as you replenish it, it doesn't have a t chance to get dirty or break down or whatever. But that, if it, Delara were here with me, that's something I would want to look into, do some research, and I'll probably do it by myself sometime when I feel like it. But why, why are they saying you don't have to change your oil? So, uh, like I said, I'll probably change mine you know, at least every couple of years anyway. And, uh, and there's a spark plug, just spark plug under there that I don't know if they still recommend changing those um, regularly. But anyway, okay, that's if Laura were here with me today, that's what she missed out on.